Welcome everyone. Today I have something excited to show you guys. I have just made a Genshin Impact damage calculator. So what this Excel file allows us to do is by inputting your current stats of your character, let's say for example my character is um, 544 attack, I can put that in. And as I input more of my stats in, what I can do is I can use the comparison stats to compare what if I change the stats of my character. How would, you know, 15% attack do for me? Is it better than 15% physical damage? And is it better compared to the critical rate? So what are the stats that contribute to the highest damage I can achieve? We have also broken damage down into three categories. So normal attack, total damage, elemental attacks with the character. That means you don't need elemental synergies. So basically with the look, he just uses fire attack. And also elemental combo synergies. So this is when you combine two elements. For example, we can combine elements into the throw effect, we can combine into vaporize and etc. Now the idea of making a calculator like this one came from the artifact tier list. As I was making the artifact tier list, I wondered how good it would be if I know the difference between another 18% attack for double two set compared to the 35% attack for the physical attack. Which one is better? So ink to comparison, let's have a look here. I'll show you that as a live demonstration of how we can do this. So basically I'm going to say my attack is going to be the same. And that's holding all the stats the same right now. Those are example stats. I'm going to say my attack percentage is going to go from 80% down towards the 62%. So basically I'm lowering my attack by 18%. But in return, what I'll do is I'll be increasing my physical damage by 35%. So we're going to go to 60% with physical damage. And you can see before that, by lowering my attack by 18%, I've actually lowered my entire damage by 10%. By increasing the physical damage by 35%, I've actually increased my total damage by 15%. So 115% now. Basically, what this calculator allows you to do is you can tailor make your characters and know what stats affect what ability. If you're going for more attack damage, then of course look at the physical stats. If you're going for more magical damage or combinations of synergies with your support character, then look for the combo stats over here. Now if you guys haven't seen the artifact tier list video, I definitely recommend you checking this out. And knowing this calculator, what you can do is you can start to see what are the best set and what are the best bonus. If you want to go for 2 set, if you want to go for 4 set, you can now know exactly how much more damage you're getting. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed, this is a really good time to join us. We have a lovely community and also I'll be looking for more news, builds, tips and locations all about the game. And you can see my previous videos were really dedicated for Genshin Impact. So how can we use or what are the uses for this particular calculator? What we can do is we can consider swapping gears for main stats. Let's say if I have a critical rate chance for the main stat or attack percentage, or do I go with critical damage? By inputting those stats in the calculator, we can see what is the best stat to increase my particular set of damage. And similarly, we can decide whether we want to go with 4-piece or 4-piece bonus set. As we showed earlier, it was actually better to go with a 4-piece with the 35% physical damage if I'm going for normal attacks. We can also look into the weapon sub stats comparison. For example, if one of my weapons has a higher base stats, the other weapon has critical rate. For example, we can look at two weapons with 300 attack and 20% critical rate versus another weapon of 290 attack and 35% critical damage percent. So what is good? Which weapon do I go for? What if I'm not going for physical attack? How much damage do I do with the 20% critical rate? Or is it worth it to keep the 35% physical damage regardless? So we can use the calculator for this. Next up, we can also look into the party synergies and resonance. And what if I have two fire units on the team? Is it worth it with the 25% damage bonus? Or is it worth it to go with the 15% with a double cryo? So this gives us so many options. There's a lot of applications for the calculator. And let me know guys how you find the calculator and what are the methods you can use the calculator for. Now let's have a look where do we find all of those numbers for the calculator. Firstly, you can see some of the generic numbers over here. I don't recommend going for those because those are compounded numbers. Going to the details over here, and what you can see is, you can see my base attack is 544. To know your attack percentage, what you have to do is, you do have to come over to each of the artifacts for the percentage of attack. For example, I'm going to add 27.7%, and on top of that, I'm going to add another 27.7%. But we're going to quickly realize that as we input all of the sub stats and main stats into the calculator, it's going to take too long. 
So what I recommend is just have a few of the base values, then look at the comparison. You're here to compare what happens when I change the particular stats. What happens when I change flat attack from 40 to let's say 80. So let me see my damage are the same right now. I have equalized it. So let's say if we change increase attack flat by 40, we actually increase our damage by three or four percent. So this is why you don't have to have the exact stats. You can, of course, if you found everything to be correct, but if you just use a sample, you can still see the difference between certain values. Now, keep in mind, in making this calculation, I wanted to include the elemental re defense reduction and also physical defense reduction. Those numbers are not showing to us, and we're just making an estimate. Now, why is it important to have those defense deductions? It's because things like superconduct that can lower the enemy's defense. We want to know how much extent the lowering defense will affect our damage for the whole team. Those numbers are not going to affect our calculation that much because it is not something we can guarantee to get into her gears. So our gears won't have those stats. Now, there is one special case where the gear actually have those particular stats. For this particular set of animal artifact, you can see that not only do we increase throw damage, we also decrease the enemy's elemental resistance to the element that's combined by throw. If we had fire debuff on the enemy, having this particular set on the support character will reduce the enemy's fire resistance by 40%. Now, the calculation is not exactly 40% to 40%. It's more like 40% will be converted into 25%. But we won't go into detail for that. You can see that we also have a star next to the elemental mastery bonus. Why is that? Because as we mentioned earlier, there is a lot of numbers with the elemental mastery. There's 43, there's a percentage and percentage. Only focus on the percentage that you're interested in with your party. Let's say if you're interested on the melt damage, you should put in 8.3%, not the 43. And if you're interested on the electro charge or throw damage, put in the 19.8%. So as you can see, back to the Excel we have, I've actually put in 19.8 over here because I know my current stat over here is actually 19.8. It is important for us to understand what those values actually mean. For the base attack, it is used for every calculation of damage. It is gained from character level up and also weapon level up. For the attack percentage, we usually get that for artifact and also main substats with the artifact. The bonus effect of the artifact can also give us attack percentage. Next up, we have critical rate and critical damage. This is a very important stat, which is going to affect all sorts of damage. No matter if you're doing physical damage, elemental damage, spell damage, this will affect everything. Now, as we get into elemental mastery, things get a little complicated. For the simplicity of this calculation, I'll show you guys in-game what to do with elemental mastery. Coming over to the stat table of our character, what you can do is come into details and you can see the elemental mastery. It's quite overwhelming because you can see 43 over here, you can see the number vaporized, you can see crystallized, you're seeing too many numbers. What I recommend is to know what elemental combination you are making. If I am planning to make swell, all I need to know is, I don't care about the 43, I need to know the 19.8% increase in damage. That's what I need to know. So this way I can actually calculate the percentage gain from the swell because I'm not planning to make crystallize and I'm not planning to make vaporize or melt. Those numbers doesn't affect me. I'm only focused on the synergies that is going to happen in my composition that my team can create. If my team doesn't have those combinations, I'm not going to look at it. So this way, it allows you to put the correct numbers into the calculator. After the elemental mastery, we also have the physical and elemental damage increase. You can also find those on the artifacts, and sometimes you can find those as the bonus sap stats. Lastly, we'll also look at how much does lowering enemy defense and also lowering enemy's resistance do for us. There are particular set of artifacts that lowers the enemy defense and also resistance. We also have skills and synergies like superconduct with electric and cryo to lower the enemy's defense. Now for those that is interested on the damage calculation, I'll have a quick summary on those. So basically, base attack is multiplied with the attack percentage. This is also added towards the flat attack gain. After that, we're multiplying the critical rate and critical chance on top of that because those three sets of damage is working with everything. It works with elemental combos, synergies. It works with elemental damage from the single character. It also works with the physical attack, normal damage from our attacks. And as we go deeper into the three sorts of damage in the game, we can see that we're going to calculate the elemental combos. We're going to calculate the resistance within that. It is important to keep in mind, those calculations from the calculators are average damage. So basically, if your attack lands a critical attack, it's going to be higher than this damage. 
if your attack doesn't land a critical attack, it's going to be lower than its damage. So it's the average of the criticals and non-criticals. Now, if you want to download this Excel and try to calculate it out for yourself, what I recommend is coming over to our Discord site and also go to the Tips and Guides section. I'll also pin the calculator into the particular comments below so you can download the file similar to the previous artifact tier list. To summarize this video, during my time of comparing numbers and fiddling around with the stats, what I realized is the base attack, critical rate, and also critical damage is the best stats for everything. After that, we can go into the physical damage and elemental damage, depending if we're going for normal attack or spell damage. That said, the percentage attack, also flat attack, also contribute everything to the damage. So the change in attack percentage and also flat attack will change everything according to your damage. It's not a big change as you increase them ever so slightly, but they also affect your total damage output. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also click the bell for more videos like this to come. As always, I wish you guys best of luck in catching and also have a great time exploring this beautiful world. I'll see you guys next time. Take care everyone.